Hi friends. You have Holland and I here with you. Hmm. Holy Lord. So I could not leave to go pick up Nolan without sharing the following story with you. So a couple days a couple days ago I was texting back and forth with a uh, one of my family members actually two of my dearest 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 family members uh, are undergoing or have already under undergone undergone uh, surgery this week and I myself yesterday um, had a, a procedure that put me um, that would put me under meaning that uh, not emotionally speaking but that did put me under physically you know with anesthesia um, and Yesterday, I was definitely feeling the effects of that anesthesia. Um, just headache, feeling super nauseous, and whatnot. And it made me, you know, feel so much compassion for these two, uh, you know, very beloved ladies that I have in my life who um, have just undergone, uh, you know, again, a, a pretty big surgery. Mine was, was just, a, you know, a small sort of test, if you will. And, um, and then someone, another loved one, who's going through another surgery in uh, tomorrow, in fact. And something that I shared with her, um, I believe and I feel so strongly, that's why I was like sighing when I, when I hopped onto the live stream, because I really trust that this will support any of you who have an idea, who um, you know, want to do the thing that you can't not do, right? That, that passion project, the writing, the writing of the book, the launching of a new business, um, you know, you name it. You name the, the project, you name the big idea that you have that you just know from a place of purpose, from a place of meaning, from a place of like complete joy in your life. The thing that you know that you can't do. I know that what I'm about to share with you will totally support you in not psyching yourself out before you've even started. So, um, so this text message, this text, uh, texting conversation was going back and forth between me and this beloved uh, sister family friend uh, who underwent surgery a couple days ago and then uh, another girlfriend, well I should say another family uh, a relative who was undergoing surgery. She was in not so many words, you know, telling me how nervous she was about this surgery. And I said to her, hey listen, what if it's not nerves that you're feeling? What if it's not that you are nervous? What if it's not that you um, are afraid that something is going to go wrong in this surgery? I said, let's, let's, let's flip it on its head a little bit. What if it's actually just th that those feelings are, are you of something being important? So it's not so much about, oh, hey, I'm feeling emotion, I'm feeling worry, um, I'm feeling feelings uh, before doing this big thing in my life, before sort of jumping, you know, and, and hopefully the net will appear, before jumping into this passion, pro passion project, before doing this thing that's going to innovate my industry, this thing that I've never done before. Um, you know, instead of believing the mind, the monkey mind, that will tell us a lot of different things, that will tell us that something could go wrong, that will tell us that, um, you know, that those emotions are emotions that signal worry, again, that signal that, that is something wrong. What if it's actually the complete opposite? What if it's literally just excitement energy? What if it's uh, literally the feelings that, that we get when something I'm gonna move inside because I know this keeps this keeps being funny. So what if those, what if the feelings that we're feeling are literally just the feelings that you and I get to feel when something is important? And so the sort of mantra or the uh, the thought then becomes, oh wait, I'm feeling that thing, right? Whether it's in your belly, you start sort of you know thoughts are starting to circle. Maybe you know your heart rate is a little bit increased. I know mine was before this procedure that I had uh, done yesterday to sort of check on my esophagus, to check on my esophagus and just see how things were internally up, up here. Um, and what if, again, what if it isn't signaling that something is wrong, but 
that that thing, whether it is the surgery, the procedure you know that I had yesterday, the new business venture that you have coming up, what if those emotions and those feelings are just a signal that this thing is really important to you? And so in this text message with my uh, relative, I was saying just repeat to yourself, repeat to yourself that this thing that you're not worried about this thing you know that it's actually that the feelings you're feeling are signaling that this is important and so your sort of mantra becomes ah you know this is important this thing that I have coming up this thing that I've chosen to do this thing that I've decided to leap uh, into is important to me and that's why my heart is racing. That is why my belly feels like it's, you know, jumping off of a building. It's not because we believe or want to manifest that something wrong is going to happen, but in fact, it's the sort of chi energy that we need to make something go really, really well. And so this text exchange came, you know, kept going back and forth and it's just an interesting week because not only did I have this you know, it wasn't a surgery per se, but this thing yesterday, um, my family member two days ago, and then I have another dear family member tomorrow going in for her procedure. And so, so how can we take this? You know, like how exciting that we can take this into our daily living. And whenever we are feeling emotions, let's not name them one thing or another. They are emotions. They are feelings. They are feelings that are that, that are signaling to us that something is important. And so the next time that you know you start to feel the bubbling up of feelings, instead of judging those emotions, let's see how helpful this this is. Meaning how helpful this idea of you know thinking to ourselves, thinking to yourself oh, I'm feeling emotions and those emotions are tied, or I should say the emotions are coming because this thing I wanna do or this surgery that I'm about to have, as was, you know, as is the case with my story, or this surgery that I'm gonna have, I'm feeling emotions because it's so important, because it is a stepping stone to me feeling better. It is a stepping stone to me being of greater purpose, or I should say greater, um, uh, yeah, purpose in the world, you know? And so how that, it, it's just, it's literally amazing. I mean, my, my uh, family member wrote me back, texted me back and said, that is so helpful. Thank you so much, that's so helpful. And so if you can, you know, if you're thinking about the next passion project that you're gonna do, or maybe you have a big event that you wanna launch, or a new side you know, project, or maybe you wanna create a nonprofit, or maybe you too are going into surgery tomorrow, or maybe you're going into surgery in a week, or maybe you're afraid to go and get tests, you know, like I did yesterday, um, to see how my body is doing from the inside. You know, instead of allowing your mind to actually take control, instead of your mind allowing uh, you to, in fact, start to feel nervous and anxious and all those things, just allow yourself to take a moment to breathe and actually say to yourself, oh, right, here are those here are those feelings that I feel every time that I am doing something that is important to me, that is important in my life. So, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, again, it was something that before I was put under, you know, anesthesia yesterday, it's something that I kept reminding myself. Um, I said to Josh, you know, by the way, it's Josh's birthday. Help me wish him a happy birthday. He actually just hopped on to the live stream. Um, yesterday as we were driving home from my procedure and I was a little bit out of it, right? Cause I was just coming out of the anesthesia. Um, I said, you know, one thing that really helped me, you know, that I kept repeating to myself is, as I was sitting in the, in the hospital room or the sort of surgical room and, uh, and as they were getting me ready and the doctor was late. So it's like, I had all this time to think, you know, I had all this time to look at the anesthesiologist, you know, putting together his, his concoction. Um, and I could have gotten really nervous, but I said to him, I said, you know, I actually just kept repeating my, repeating to myself, this is important. I'm feeling emotions right now because this is important. This is important to me. That's it. It's not because I'm worried. It's not because 
again, thinking that something's gonna go wrong, it is literally just the emotion that humans feel when we are launching into, launching ourselves into, or stepping into, or saying yes to something that is deeply meaningful to us, you know, that again, is the stepping stone to that next thing. So now I really need to go and pick up Nolan from school. So hopefully that is helpful to all of you. Um, I know it has been for me in my life with anything important that I'm doing. Um, you know, when I start to feel things that we could define um, as bad or as, uh, you know, sort of the signals to say, hey, maybe I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'm not going to go through with the surgery. Maybe I'm not going to go through with the, this procedure. Maybe I'm not going to go through with the passion project or the nonprofit or the business idea. Just stop yourself for a second and realize that it truly is the chi energy. It truly is the energy um, that you need to start that project. That energy is there to show you how much of it, meaning how much energy you have inside to actually deliver deliver something amazing and if you are going you know into something trying you know and difficult like a surgery just continue to repeat to yourself you know uh, and this isn't about bypassing any sort of real emotions of course but it is about just understanding the power um, that the mind has the power that you have to feel better in your life and the power that you have to again if you are going into something sort of scary like a surgery or a process you know a, a, a process medical process that you have to go under for and and is and is very sort of thought uh, provoking and thoughtful um, just know that with that as well you can allow yourself to breathe deeper you can allow yourself to sort of take it down a notch and um, and you know feel peace by simply telling yourself I'm just feeling these things I'm feeling these uh, you know again the heart racing the the tummy jumping whatever it is because this thing that I'm about to do is super important to me. So that is how we don't psych ourselves out from doing what it is that we actually need to do potentially for our health. Um, and, and of course the things that we get to do uh, for the greater health, meaning the, you know, our emotional health, um, the health of, you know, the greater good because there's so many of us who have beautiful, creative, wildly creative, wildly innovative ideas that you know who that, that we're not putting into the world that we're not putting um, you know that we're not putting our stamp of approval on because we are allowing the different emotions and the different feelings that any human being naturally and normally has we are defining them as something that is maybe not true again just because you're feeling emotion in your body doesn't mean that your mind has to take over and start to define negatively start to define negatively what those emotions are so take control meaning take control back over your life over the mind and when you feel the feelings that a body naturally feels allow yourself to actually you know um, tell your mind that it's not that at all it's not about you know, worry that something's going to, go, going to go wrong in that procedure, in that surgery. You're actually feeling all of the bodily feelings um, that are natural for a human being um, because this thing is so important to you. And um, I'll leave you with this. Speaking of things that are important, so it's my husband's birthday, his 50th birthday. Um, I just got dressed up for him. Let me show you. I have this really cute skirt on that I love. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, speaking of important things, I have my husband's birthday, super important, um, and I, uh, I'm gonna be heading out to celebrate him and love him up, and so I think, you know, this topic of labeling, this topic of defining the emotions that you feel inside about a particular project that you want to step into or even again health things that I'm taught you know similar to what I'm talking about um, as much as those things are super important let us not forget that the relationships and that the connections that allow us to you know um, 
sort of pump up the volume on that energy that we need to create and birth these beautiful businesses, passion projects, books, whatever it is that you want to do in your life in this next half of your life or in this next season in your life. Let us not forget that the very thing that or, or the very things that allow us to do that um, are our relationships and the support of course that we have from those relationships so how important it is to nurture those relationships how important it is to get from behind our computers you know get off of Facebook even though even though you're watching on Facebook right now um, getting off of Facebook getting off of text messages and you know that was one of Josh's and my biggest wishes um, in the greater good party was let's take things from online to offline let's go back to old school you know let's stop doing things virtually and let's actually shake hands let's hug let's talk in the same living room that now we call our loving room since the greater good party so if there's a second thing I think that is just true to me and my life right now is um, and definitely today because it's Josh's birthday is just this reminder that beyond uh, you know sort of empowering ourselves with the right definitions and with the right um, thoughts you know on on the emotions that we've been talking about that nurturing relationships nurturing the most important relationships that we have will be the other very wise move the other thing um, the other action that truly supports us in moving forward um, and doing you know doing the great work in the world that we want to do doing the things that enliven us you know um, saying yes to the words that we want to put on paper um, expressing ourselves to you know our most full degree um, and uh, it's 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 been amazing just to watch especially over the last I would say five years Josh and I've been together for 20 but definitely over the last five years just to see you know how how necessary relationship has been how key how pivotal um, our marriage has been for me to feel most creative yes loss has been one of the ways that I have uh, and for, to some that might seem totally crazy but loss has actually um, allowed me to live uh, a bigger more beautiful life it has made me even more creative um, even more grateful and um, and also none of it would be possible without uh, the relationships that I nurture every day so may you nurture your relationships may you remind yourself uh, you know and may you sort of play a different um, may you play sort of a trick on on your own mind and, and the next time that you are feeling that pause or that you aren't gonna move forward with you know the the big idea that you have allow yourself to Again, just think to yourself, the, 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 thing, the things that I once called nerves, the, the, the emotions that I once labeled as bad are actually really good. They are here to show me that I am alive, they are here to make me feel alive, and they are here just signaling. They are here only to signal that this very next step that I'm going to take is so important to my life's process it's so important to my life's purpose so with that everyone off to pick up my son I hope this has served you I'm sending you love if you have watched today and this uh, has been helpful to you definitely share it um, say hi if you're watching from the replay and if you watched live I would love to hear that too so you can say that in the comments as well